it's Nona and tonight I'm here with my top 10 palettes for spring 2022 um, I've watched several of my friends do this video in you know different iterations some have done five some have done ten uh, one of my friends even did top 30 so uh, but I'm gonna stick to ten I think that's a good round number for me Five seems to be too small. Um, 30 is definitely too much for me to try to put together. So 10 is, is a happy medium for me. Um, what I've noticed is that most of my friends were thinking outside the box. They weren't just picking the normal quote unquote pastel palettes for spring. Um, and so I really looked through my collection and I tried to pick palettes that I haven't chosen in a top 10 before. Um, some newer, some older, some um, high-end, some luxury, uh, indie, um, cheap, <laughs> drugstore, affordable, whatever you want to call it. And um, so I think I have a, a pretty good mix. And they're definitely not all pastels. So, but the first one is. So I'm going to start out with the Profusion Tin Pan Pastel Palette. These are $5.00. On the Profusion site, or they might have went up to six. They they were five, but this is just a really pretty pastel color story. And Profusion started out as a dirt cheap brand at like dollar stores, and I will admit that their formula was not the best. But now, these tin pan palettes are some of my absolute favorite palettes there are, regardless of brand or you know if they're high end or whatever this is a very cheap palette but the formulation of the shadows is not cheap at all and they really put together some beautiful color stories so this is my first one the second one is the glam light margarita palette they released um, an entire like cocktail themed uh, makeup collection last year and I picked up the palettes all four of them and this one super cute to me it is definitely says spring especially these gorgeous greens and these pinks uh, for me this year I'm just yearning for pinks and greens for spring like watermelon colors um, and again glam lights formula is superb it's impeccable I love it now I've heard some people say that these palettes this specific uh, cocktail collection is not as good as their other palettes but I really haven't too, had too much trouble with these so I really like them and I, I really really like the the color story of this one and the next one is the BH Cosmetics Mimosa palette um, I'm sure most of you know that BH filed for bankruptcy and um, I saw some articles saying that uh, Revolution has bought the brand um, I don't know if they're going to rebrand if they're going to keep the formula of BH or whatever. I hope they do because in my opinion, BH's shadow formula is superior to any of the revolution uh, formulas under their brand umbrella or whatever. But anyways, this is the Mimosa palette and it's some gorgeous peaches and pinks. It has some neutrals in there. This really bright pop of yellow would be gorgeous for a matte inner corner. And I just think this just says spring to me. Uh, there are some very light colors that could be considered pastel. So this is a very versatile palette. Um, it does look, you know, fairly monochromatic, but I can definitely see you can pull a look that's more purple, more peach, more even red, a definite warm tone neutral. So really pretty. Then I have the Disney Mickey and Friends Truth Be Told palette by Morphe Cosmetics. Um, two of my gorgeous friends um, bought me birthday presents this year and they one sent me a gift card to Ulta and I purchased this with her gift card and then my other friend that was my friend Lynn and then my friend Dee Dee sent me this palette for my birthday I mean my friends know me so well <laughs> this palette is gorgeous the packaging is so cute and and this is the color story and again I'm leaning for brights uh, this spring more so than I am pastels um, 
definitely whoa, the greens are screaming spring to me this really pretty um shimmery light blue i don't know if you call that shade teal or turquoise or aquamarine but and then some really pretty peachy tones and pinks i just think you could get goodness several uh really really pretty spring looks with this really pretty Then I have the Cara Duo Purple Haze Palette. And this is a marijuana themed palette. I don't partake. I don't um, look down on anyone who does. I really have hardly any opinion about it. But I love this color story. And again, it's the gorgeous pinks, these light, light purples, and this bright yellow. I just, I just think it just says spring flowers to me. That's, that's sort of what I'm envisioning for spring this year. Just big bursts of colorful flowers. Just big drifts of flowers. Uh, just, <laughs> I wish I wasn't allergic to the sun so I could go outside and garden and spend time. But um, I watch uh, some gardening uh, channels. And uh, I absolutely love to see what they're doing in their, their yards. Uh, next is another BH palette. It is the BH Tokyo palette. This is their like travel destination series of palettes. Um, another super bright color story. But this green right here, oh my gravy. And the yellows, again, these light, light pinks. So, so pretty. This blue, got a light purple here. Just really, really, really pretty. Then I picked the Natasha Denona Love Palette for the, again, peachy tones, the pinky tones. Um, you could definitely do a more neutral look. I think that light neutrals look really pretty and fresh in spring. Great for work or school, just everyday looks and uh, taupes. Look at this shade here would be so so pretty with this really pretty pink in the crease this peachy pink and oh man this probably in the outer B and you know this on the lid and just a really light look just really really stunning and Natasha Denona's formula is one of my absolute favorites um you know they they are very her, her palettes are very expensive but they are one of the few brands that I truly believe um that price is um, not inflated for the quality. Then I chose the Pat McGrath. This is the Mothership 7 Divine Rose palette. And my beautiful friend Kathleen from Design and Entertaining sent this to me. Oh, and I won the Natasha Denona Love palette in a giveaway from my gorgeous friend Donna. Her channel is my new obsession. And um, so everyone knows Pat McGrath is just another gorgeous luxury brand and um, again some really light neutral shades taupey shades this gorgeous gorgeous shifty pinky shade and this one I just really wanted to choose a more neutral palette but I wanted some like pops of pink and these are more gold I just think this would be such a gorgeous palette for spring. Just, just gorgeous. Two more. I recently was gifted this palette in a friend mail from my beautiful friend Karen, Karen Ann MUA. This is the Athena palette by Dido Cosmetics. Isn't that beautiful, the packaging? And then this is the color story. And, of course, all these greens are just screaming my name. I love these lighter greens and this really pretty yellow. And then we have this bluish green shade, some golds. Very, 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 very pretty. I thought that would make some really nice looks for spring. And then last but not least, I chose the Mercury Retrograde by Huda Beauty. Um, several of my friends had also chosen this palette in their uh, spring palettes. 
and obviously you know these this beautiful blue these lighter pinky mauves this shade is really pretty you could definitely do some neutral looks it's just stunning really really gorgeous and again maybe you wouldn't consider this a spring palette because it does lean very very neutral but you could definitely make some gorgeous gorgeous looks with a pop with the neutrals and a pop of color and those are my top 10 palettes for spring 2022 um, I would love to see what palettes you choose um, and the reasons you chose them. Um, if you do this video, please let me know so I can come over and watch it. And yeah, if you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.